Hello. My postman has given me something again. And this time it's not a grey garbage bag from China. It's a big yellow box. Um, I'm not a big fan of unboxings in general, but I wanted to make an exception for this particular box because this one has come all the way from Germany. And it's quite a generous gift that I've been given, so I wanted to show some uh, appropriate appreciation for the gift giver. And the gift giver is, as we can see here, the very generous Christian Holfeld. And Christian uh, is a guy that I have never actually met. He was one of the first people who bought my Rube Box 2D editor a couple of years ago, just after it was first released. And I forget exactly why, but we ended up chatting online quite regularly um, about stuff like game programming and Cocos 2D and Box 2D mostly. Uh, but he also sends me very interesting techie uh, links and videos and stuff to interesting stuff. And one day he sent me a link to this thing called an Odroid, which is kind of like a, a Raspberry Pi with a, a whole lot more high specs, but still quite cheap. And he had just bought one of those and he was trying it out. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool because I was doing a lot of Arduino stuff. But, uh, you know, the Arduinos have quite a limit on their processing capability and memory. So I was thinking about maybe trying Raspberry Pi, and this Odroid thing seemed quite interesting. Um, so anyway, a couple of months later, um, I was chatting to him again, and I was saying I was thinking maybe I would uh, get one of these Odroid things, because they're you know quite cheap and everything. And Christian says, oh, I'll send you my one. <laughs> so long story short, if we take a look on the uh, contents of what's in here, we see Odroid U3. USB cable and a lüfter, whatever that means. Um, I could have looked at Google Translate to see what that is, but I thought I'd just find out when I open the box. So let's open the box and see what a lüfter is. Open here. Open there. Okay. Good job, that's in English, eh? <laughs> okay, oh, look at that. Thanks and many greetings from Germany. Christian and wife and baby and dog. Oh, I didn't know you had a dog. Uh, Christian had a new baby a couple of months ago, actually, so he's a new dad. Oh, and he's given me the, uh, the 3D printed case, too. Yeah, he mentioned this. So... Uh, Christian also bought a 3D printer a while ago, so I guess this is one of the one of the things that he's been testing his 3D printer on. How about that? Hmm, it's pretty cool. So it opens up there, I guess. Opens up there, I'm guessing. I don't want to break it. Oh, there we go. So that's the size of an Odroid. Pretty small. All right. Uh, that is a fan. Is that what a lifter is? Or is it a letter? Must be must be a fan, right? <laughs> Cooling fan. Sweet. Okay, well there's a HDMI adapter in there too. Excellent. Some uh, instructions. Okay. What is that? USB. Micro SD card. Wow, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Is this a... What does that say? Oh, this is the um, EMMC module. Okay, so this is the um, the module that's used as what you might say, what you might call the hard disk for the system. So the operating system is, is on there. Okay, that's great. Well, um, yeah, wow. So everything's ready to go, basically. All right, let's have a look at this little thing. What do we got here? So it has a passive cooling fan as well. Uh, not fan, sorry, fins. Cool heatsink. All right, so it's a little bit probably easier for me to show you on the website what this is really, but um, it's basically a quad core 1.7 gigahertz uh, ARM processor. So in some ways it's very much like the Nexus 7 that I've been using for my experiments so far, except it's a lot more convenient for what I'm doing because 
there are a lot more hardware connections on here so we have Ethernet uh, three USBs there HDMI for video um, mini uh, micro USB audio jack or is that power sorry might be power one of these is power and one of these is audio um, what is this on here there's already a there's already an EM, EMMC card on there do I have two of those or what? What's going on? That says micro SD EMMC reader. I'm not really sure what that is then. Hmm. Um, so yeah, um, it, it's more convenient than the tablet because I can just permanently install this on my transmitter and I can run Android and I can also run Linux on here and I'm probably going to end up running Linux just because it's more easy to compile programs for um, so I'll be able to tweak and change the program when I'm out in the field whereas for Android I would have to pretty much bring it home if I wanted to change the um, the program that I'm running um, okay now one one thing that really drew me to this particular board is if we can focus on there you see this little um, four pin connector there, why can't we focus, come on there we go, see this four pin connector here that I'm pointing at that's actually a hardware SPI connection so that's uh, that's clock and mossy and miso and uh, what, uh, uh, slave select I think so that's, you can run an NRF24 module in hardware SPI mode directly from these pins and you'll need some other pins for here as well um, so that's that's one thing that really took my interest about this particular board is that you as far as I can tell you can connect an NRF24 L01 module to it directly so if it's not obvious what I'm gonna do with this is put it in my transmitter and um, have this as my like ground control station that's the plan so anyway, um, Christian was using this with Android, so it looks like Android is ready to go on there. So let's see if we can get this to do something. Okay, that's uh, now we're looking at the main screen um, of my computer, so you can see the webcam is looking at its own image there. Kind of cool effect, isn't it? Um, so while I was setting up there, I managed to figure out what a couple of these things were that I couldn't figure out what they were earlier and one of them is a Ethernet dongle so that's like a just a, a Wi-Fi regular Wi-Fi um, connection so that's this one here if we look closely on the top there it says 802.11 like that and this other thing in here, I also figured out what that was for. This is an interface between the EMMC card and a regular micro SD, as it says there, it's a reader. So what you would do is, um, let me just take this case off. So in order to flash a new operating system onto this, you would need to connect that to a regular computer, like another another desktop computer or laptop or whatever through regular USB so you would put this red card onto the um, onto the little slot on here and then I guess you would just slot this into a, a regular micro SD reader on your other computer that you would then use to flash the new OS so I guess that's why that thing is necessary and I also discovered in this bag of instructions there's actually a Bluetooth dongle in here as well that I, I missed before so we really are set up with everything we need here it's great um, alright so let me uh, switch my screen over to the HDMI input and we'll plug this in and see what happens Where is that plug? There we go, it's plugged in. Lights flashing. I can't see what I'm showing you anymore, but oh, there we go. It's 
Uh, Android is booting up. Wow, there we go. Odroid Utility is requesting super user access. Okay, now I guess I need a mouse, don't I? Um, I wonder what will happen if I just plug in my mouse. Let me try this. Um, so this USB here is going into a USB hub which has both my keyboard and my mouse on it so I'm not sure what this Odroid is going to make of that when it sees it but hopefully we'll be able to get at least a mouse working what happens oh okay there we go so mouse is up and running Low. oh yeah there we go. Oh, isn't that great? It's just like a enormous Android tablet. Um, and we should be running KitKat 4.1. Oh, sorry, not KitKat 4.1.2. What would that be? Jelly Bean? Yeah. But you can get up to Android KitKat for this, apparently. So that's great. <laughs> it's a huge. Android tablet. Uh, let's see if we can get um, some kind of keyboard input and just check if my keyboard's going to work like this. Ah, here we go. Yep, okay. Uh, what could we do to type some input? And this one should do it. Is my keyboard going to work? Keyboard is working. Well, that's great. So mouse and keyboard just work, just like that. Excellent. Now, how about some internet connectivity? Let's try this wireless dongle, shall we? See what that does. Doesn't look like this has been used. Did you even use this, Christian? I think I just opened this like for the first time. So let's see. We still have two more USB connections. Let's plug this in. Am I getting it the right way? Uh, yes, I am. I'm not sure if you can just plug the, the wireless in after the OS has started like that, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, settings. Wi-Fi on. Turning Wi-Fi on, searching with Wi-Fi networks. Perfect. Great. Oh, uh... Hold on. <laughs> well, I guess nobody's going to be using my Wi-Fi, are they? Uh, see what happens. Saved, secured, authenticating. I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's just at the top of the screen. Connected. Looks good. All right, let's go back to our web browser. And see if we can... Cool. So that's it. The internet is working. Keyboard and mouse are working. It's great. It's just like a little uh, computer in a in a matchbox almost. So this is the um, the specs for this little thing. It's a 1.7 gig quad core with two gigabytes RAM. Um, interesting points for me, of course, are the GPIO and the I squared C and the SPI, and the fact that you can put any lint, I don't know about any, but um, most flavors of Linux you can probably uh, rebuild and put onto here, and they've specifically prepared Zubuntu builds for you to try. And another interesting thing that I was quite pleased to see is that it's only 48 grams, so it's not out of the question to 
mount this on a quadcopter or octocopter or something like that that um, could then you actually use it maybe as a I don't know about a flight controller but you could do stuff with it and it wouldn't be a problem as far as weight is concerned um, so as I mentioned yeah it's not it's not a trivial thing here uh, what Christian's given me because this is 60 something dollars its price fluctuates a little bit but it's generally 65 to 69 dollars so um, yeah not a not a trivial gift to give somebody because that EMC EMMC card is uh, also 30 odd dollars I think as well so um, yeah this is a really really nice little present uh, you can get a bunch of peripherals for it there uh, there's a screen here I'll have to get a screen for it at some stage and there's a 10 inch screen there that I don't really want but you can get 7 inch screens for this as well which is what I'll probably end up getting technical detail seems a little bit slow to load the um, images Anyway, that's the, the technical specs, but I mean, you can Google this and see it for yourself. I just uh, wanted to do this to see that the internet's working. So those are the uh, all the gory details of everything there. And it appears to be working just fine. So I'm going to try putting my, um, my application that I've been making... Um, that connects to my cheapass transmitter and I'll see if I can plug it into this and get it running not not right now but um, eventually I'll, I'll I'll do that and um, probably pretty soon though I'll just put uh, Linux onto this and and get it running with Linux instead because you can do that so anyway that's uh, that's gonna do it for this video everything seems to be working just great and I'm very happy with this very nice present and you're a very generous Christian so thank you once again for sending this to me and I'm looking forward to playing around with it a lot. I mean, sorry, no, working. Working with it. Yeah, working, not playing. <laughs> serious. This is serious stuff, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching, and see you next time.